What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of GWT Goons. After what happened last episode, that we excuse me, excuse you. So after what happened last time, it was um, met up with Charles. We uh, kind of did some things. We um, also find Uncle as well, which is cool. And then now, look at who we are. Yeah. Got any work? Yeah. I mean, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Yeah. Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. You know, nice. Funny thing about this job, but opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? You ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Shane Finley. Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work? Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. Okay. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah. Of course, money is good. Come on, it's like five Plus, state. I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it? We're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Of course we do. Look in my head, by the way. Huh? Hey. Let's go, girl. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Let's ride. Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. Mm-hmm. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. There's some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All yeah. country is good. I guess it's just folk that are bad. It's decent. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You er wanna talk about Yeah, it? yeah. Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's doing Okay. He was prize fighting in Saint Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But yeah. I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know you can come along too. And build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer is there whenever you want. That's kind. But we ain't normal people. We are family kind. now, you know? You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch yeah. put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls. That weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We were fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for him. And I was mm -hmm. one of the lucky ones. Michael, Tom. Michael's the one who set it off. 
I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. Yeah. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. Come on. One day. One day we will find him. And we will get a revenge. That's for sure. Crossing, cross. I don't know. I don't even know where we are now. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house. Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers. Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. Mm -hmm. I'm forever the optimist. You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since the last time. Bounty hunting. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. I mean, that's where I get my head as well. Or it's three pounds. Bounty it's hunter. Right. Which is, I guess you can make a decent price. Because I just got like 90. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. See that. That's James Langton. The other fellows just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Come on. Let's go follow him. Hey, good girl now. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. That's a girl. Yep, I'm gonna follow you. I got my gun ready. Say she's a smart woman. Dun, dun, dun. Up here, get off your horse. This might be our chance. When you get the buy for life.
Thanks for, thanks for the. Should we threaten them? Start shooting. Sneak down and pick them off one by one. I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity. But uh, it's your call. I was yes. Make up your mind, John. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well. Follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. Because I want to go down. thinking about Gowens. Sich raus ist. You will be. Do 
he's hiding somewhere I can't really see. Yeah. <laughs> it was like yeah. Hey there, it's your call. Let's try sneaking. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Come on. We can't go around them. You take one of them. I'll take the other thing. You got it. Okay, let's move. Up ahead. No, no, no. I'll take care of it.
Oh. It was literally because I can't see. Can you start shooting now? Oh, if I can see them. Where's that? Seriously? Lena, it's your call. Let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off.
No, what are you doing? Can, what are you doing? Seriously? What? Seriously? Are you, are, you, are you okay? Like, what are you doing? Finally, we got it. Too. That ain't the truth, John. 
You're gonna be an old man on your porch with grandkids around. Just, you gotta pay for it is all. I don't know if you can do both. I get these thoughts. Mm. Yeah, that's what the drink is for. <laughs> or fishing. Or anything. You're strong enough to handle it. I hope I am. Sometimes in the past, that ain't always been the case. More stuff. Okay. Are we up on the jailhouse? Let's show this body to them. You better have read that bounty poster right. We'll see. Why is that? Why is that? Black water. Bring him and put him on a bank. Oh, Spanish. Yeah. Sheriff can call the undertaker if he wants to. We brought in Shane Finley. Well, what's left of him. Well, it certainly looks like him. Shane, I was looking forward to watching you swing. Throw him out back, would you? I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here. There's a yeah. decent price on Finley. Mm -hmm. I don't even really care. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank too? No, I'll uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well. If you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be mm -hmm. well, John. Mm-hmm. Mm, 50, that's a lot. That's actually quite a lot. Now that we are back to uh, where I land that after what happened last time it literally has really pissed me off that I have to try so many times ah uh, feels like old times <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again let's just hope things don't turn out like last time there you go <laughs> what I tell you Charles boy is as sour as weak old Home milk no improvement for beginner like an Ikea we got some cowboy version of Ikea excuse me don't get all angry it ain't gonna change nothing you're hopeless I mean that literally you got no hope look at this place I've had better nightmares than this dream oh darling Abigail I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I feel like I wouldn't ask about my worst to enemy to take a shit. Explore at this say? point. It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. <laughs> the <laughs> house. Respect you, miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leather. No. no I'm pretty sure you probably place. need a better house. Now, but I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Mm. Horses will pull it clean down. Yeah, but we not. Can we like? We good? I think so. Can we All build right. it first? Well, can we build a house first before going. tires down? Now just pull. You got this, John. I'll go when you do. Okay. On me. Okay. If you say so. I mean. Come on. You. We get it. Oh. <laughs> See, I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now, now yeah, we're like boss. Town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book, same as if we were a bicycle. Mean? What do you mean town? by what do you mean by a house? Train store, cakes, hardwood and timber. Okay, you keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna just tell you need that a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant <laughs> rapping. Just Charles, make him work. Make him work. Whip him if you have to. Dang. I got two horse. 
I can't remember which one. You're a good villain. That's it, that's the mission. Okay. Just literally tear off the house and that's the that's the simplest question ever. <laughs> and um now obviously now we have to go back. Here, here. Oh look, we are going, 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 going. A peacut, a peacut house. All right, I see you in a bit. Now that we are back, we probably need to get some, get some Excuse wood. Me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> no. Who is he joking. talking to? How can I help you, friend? I know oh. this sounds crazy. <laughs> Who was like, Some what? Dumb old coot. I know. It's telling me there's these houses you can buy pre cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? Wow. Each one Which? is entirely <laughs> unique, but also the same. Excuse me. <laughs> Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And but they're all the same. Today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks, maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, yes, we have Which one? one in stock. Come on, got and these. Credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Now, you write your name here, and uh, you sign your name there. And you'll be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. That's Martin. it. Albert Cakes Esquire at your service. That's it. You boys give me a minute. Oh. What are you doing here? Everything okay? That. I'm not sure. Probably. Is, that, by the is it? Uh, okay. On the road. I said, was about Uncle. Skinner Brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. Left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who I thought. Two? Guns for hire? Their skin is about we need them. We ain't got that kind of money. I thought already you got the, the no, boss. But the skin is the the skinner. Mr. Devin, you with me. Mr. Wayne, this is Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fellow up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good. Okay. So we're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right then. Let's go buy us some tools. Let's go. I know the quickest way. Follow me. Say. Is your friend a negro or a redskin? I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. Does it matter? The same with me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Okay. I suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. No, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if oh. a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless well, let's hope so. I mean, they're carrying something valuable instead of pre-cut timber and some Yeah, I guess. I guess why would you? Wait. Look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. I mean, why would you even you can concentrate roll on the horses. just a bunch right. of wood and, you I'll know, a bunch that. of timber? Maybe I've like. done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. But hey. I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey, you are taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Now, where were you? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. Mm -hmm. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. Chopping wood, mending the roof, 
That's, yeah, that's really good for you. I mean, maybe you should stop talking talk less and focus on the tree line, really. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. What's up, Neil? Okay. He heard he was the okay. Best, best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Peter's Hope. Peter's Hope? Okay. Have you got it's, any mate? It sounds like when we were playing D&D, uh, okay. &D, like Lee's always talking like about said, this taste, smith. It's like whether that we are talking to the smith. Smells. Okay. He always working, and then he's always say okay. <laughs> so Milton is uh, working with cakes, hardwood, and timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. That's it. Easy enough. Okay. I hear, I hear that. Everyone find some cover. Do I have a gun? Okay. There's literally everywhere. I don't need. Ch yeah, that's fine. Can we play? Okay, this side is done. They're running. Okay. Get the others, huh? Are the guys so. still alive? They got the tools. They grab Mr. Wayne. All right, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on. Oh my God, I need to save him. I know, I know you're here. But well, that's a lot of people. Who else? 
Come on, come on, man. They are literally everywhere. Huh? You want? You want what? You want what? You want what? Boy, what? How's your hair, dog? Oh, I thought that. Ooh! I thought. <laughs> for a second, I thought he's my teammate. That's why I didn't kill him. It's too quiet. Mr. Way! Mr. Way! You here? Charles, I found the tools. T the tool is Where's here. Mr. Oh my god. Of course. Shit. Jesus. You gotta move fast. Come on. Let's go. Back to the road. Go away, go away, go away, go away. I'm coming. God damn it! A few minutes ago, he was chewing my ear off. Yep. Know what he was getting into. Did he? Well, maybe. Maybe he should. Me. Talk less and act more. Oh well. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting money too. Is he? Is it bad? They opened him up pretty good. What do you mean bad? He's literally. <laughs> Alright, let's go. In for Charles. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. I feel like they will be better if Charles riding with the other guy. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Say he said something too. It's not the land. The skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this this kind of bloodshed was meant to be over. Oh my god. This it's even happened in a small town. This kind of bloodshed is different. Like how? Sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! Then what happened then? Uncle! Uncle! <laughs> Uncle just, just got up. Sack crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Yeah, sure. Ooh, what happened? Skinner Brothers. Adam? Enough. Yeah, a lot. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town and put Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. I will. I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we well, killed quite a lot of them. At sure. least, like, more than 30. If you say so. so. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Another day. Do 
you say 600 something I can't see let's keep having this hey there Charles so I guess now that's like where's the house it's building I guess it's working on it it's working on it maybe if, I mean it's it's decent I guess it's like massive so the land the whole thing's quite massive so but anyway <coughs> I'm gonna end this episode right here thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed it we probably your next round probably gonna kill some more people Go final come down with those skinny brothers is that what they call I can't remember um <laughs> but um yep I'm gonna call it episode hope you guys enjoyed it and then um if you like it please subscribe to us um, and like our videos as well um as always we always got big things coming uh we got dnds we got loads of different things days gone loads of different things so um keep your eyes on it and then uh hope you see you on the next one bye